Okay, guys, I'm gonna, right now I'm gonna show you a little thing on how to do an iPod commercial kind of thing. Now, I'm not using a clip, just using a picture of my sister. And what it is, is it's just a picture. Well, obviously, you need a green screen or a blue screen. It works either one. And this is on Final Cut Express, but it also works, oh, dude, yeah, it's, it's, it works on, it's Final Cut Express, but it also works on, um, what's it called, Final Cut Pro or whatever you want, or, yeah, Final Cut. But, okay, so right now, I'm just going to put it up to, to V2, I'm going to just drag this down because it's bothering me. So I have it on V2. V2, and then I'm gonna double click it to load it into the viewer to go to. Uh, now I'm gonna go up to effects, video filters, key, chroma keyer, and chroma keyer tab came up as you see. Now I'm gonna grab this little eyedropper. Let me show you what I'm about that little eyedropper. Just, oops, gotta select it and just go over there. Now this will all start turning black. Now we're gonna open up the color a little bit. If you want a better tutorial on this, just go on what YouTube and type in uh, green screen, uh, Final Cut Express green screening, and there's a whole bunch of tutorials, like a whole bunch. This is where I learned how to do it. I learned how to do a couple things. I just, I learned how to do this on my own. Fooling around. Oops. Open that up. There. A little thing over on the side will fix in just a second. Alright, to fix that, since it's just a picture, why not just crop it? Make simple. Just go all the way to there. Doesn't cut her out at all. Now, go back to video or chroma key. Or... Now, as you can see, there's still a little bit of green. So I'm just zooming in. Pixelates it a whole bunch. Still a whole bunch of green that we can fix. I am running low on battery. But whatever. But, um, you can. You can, uh, wait a second, I'm going to crop this a little bit more, so I'm going to crop, crop it yeah. there, and, okay, well also, since it is just a picture, I here, I'll just get it out, so I can add. Okay, well, see if just adjusting the overall sliders. Bring this up a little. Oh, that got rid of That was pretty good. Okay. Well, don't mess with these, because that's. I mean, I mess with them. Definitely mess with them. I'm just. It just, yeah. It can mess up your clip. Okay. Well, so we got the chroma key done. And. Looks like she is over black. Now, or over white here. Now, obviously she needs to be black, which she isn't. So I'm going to go to effects, video filters, image control, sepia. This is the way I figured it out. Now, obviously this isn't black. That's why we are going to go hit filters under sepia, like so, and click that, drag it all the way down to black, hit OK, it's turned into black and white. Now, this is 100%, now that can just bring it down to color, now this will bring her white, so this will bring her black. Now, obviously, you can't see anything, that's good. Now, I'm going to hit the video tab and go to the, now you can kind of see, go to the A, then go to, yep, click.
water solid. Then I'll throw up a blue. Just blue. You can hit the color, change it. The iPod commercials, they usually have like light colors. And you can hit that. I'll add it in. Okay. You can't drag it or anything. But you can. And you turn the image on so it doesn't. You're going to drag it underneath. That's why I bring it up to the V2. And there you kind of have an iPod commercial thing. But I've got to fix that. Is making it worse. That is good. I drag down the edge for me. I'm gonna have to render that out. Oh, I haven't saved it. Let me just save it real quick. Some type of project. Let's call it a uh, iPod demo. Oh, it's really good. Gonna write the video. Obviously, no audio. No. There we go, just that. And say I want to change it. Just blade. Actually, I don't need to do that. Just go back to here. Bring it right to there. Oops. I'll just leave it like that. And then I'll just load that back up. Go to controls, you can switch it around. It's like an orange. Go back to video. Oh, dude. Go back to video, put that underneath there. And now I'm going to render that out. And now it's like a. Oops. Oh, I know what it was. Oh, it just you have to make an all new one. Because it is like the same sequence thing, but whatever. I don't want to have to deal with that. I don't you know, but uh, you get the point. You can change stuff. So that's kind of iPod commercial. Now, you know the ones where they have all the different, like the backgrounds and stuff? You can do that. That's animation, like a lot of keyframing and things like that difficult stuff. I know how to do it, but um, it takes a long time to do, and I really don't want to teach you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully this tutorial has been good, and if it hasn't, that sucks. So, yeah. Bye.